Okay, we're going to do a little vlog style type YouTube, trying something a little bit different out. I'm going to show you our garage and then we have a couple pieces that we are staging and it will be going to the store that we sell our for sale furniture from. We kind of have two streams or three streams, but um, for furniture wise, we have two streams of income. We have pieces that we find and we flip and we sell in a storefront and then the other half is people who bring us their furniture and they want us to um, flip it for them and they decide the color and the hardware and all of that. So today I'm going to show you some pieces that a little behind the scenes if you will of two pieces that I'm going to be staging and how I move furniture around things like that but let me show you our um, shop first. So this is our garage space. This is where people bring in their furniture and once they bring in the furniture it comes through and lands right about here. This is the middle of our shop and this is where we really start to work on pieces. This is um, someone's, um, I don't know what you call that, a little buffet, whatever. Um, we also have a set of chairs that we are working on and we got this fancy new vacuum that Matt has been eyeing and he's very excited about and our little miter saw station and this is also some custom work this is going to be going in the color retreat which is always a crowd favorite and then back in here let me turn the lights on this is where we spray all of our pieces once we have sprayed it it comes all the way back to the front of the shop right here and we have created a staging wall and so that is where we are landing today i'm going to show you how i move furniture all around how we stage it and then i'll kind of do a little voiceover on like why i choose the decor that i choose but we actually have a youtube video that i'll try to put right here that talks about staging. So let's get going. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is moving all of the finished pieces. And this means we have taken photos, we have finished reels, we have done the videos, and they are ready to either go to the store or back to the client. So I am moving all this, it usually slides pretty easily, but I try not to slide it as much as I can to avoid scratching our floor. And that is where these rollers come in handy because I'm able to move it all around the shop by myself. So I'm moving this one out of the way. I'm about to stage this retreat run. That's the green color, it's called retreat. And I'm getting it out of the way so that I can stage this white. It's a soft white dresser with a custom finished top. And this is the final look. So I went with like a French soft feminine look with the pink flowers and the picture of the Eiffel Tower and the gold accents from both of the candles really highlighted the gold hardware and I felt like it made the look complete. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is finishing reels, taking photos, and this is probably one of the most important things about furniture flipping is how you market your pieces. So I'm getting the picture of from all different angles, I'm getting videos, and I'm on also finishing reels that I have started from before the piece. This is where you should follow us on Instagram. We are Moses underscore restorations, and you'll see all of our furniture flips, the befores and afters. It's kind of our entertainment spot. One thing to note when you are selling and staging photos for furniture is to have a picture of all of the drawers pulled out. This shows how many drawers and it's very important to note that in your listing because some drawers look like two put together and it's actually one. So this is where the rollers come in very handy because I am able to get this huge dresser by myself simply by lifting the um, dresser up and kicking the roller out of place. And this is probably not the right shoes that we needed, but this is all behind the scenes. So I'm pushing the finished staged photoed dresser out of the way and giving the new one a final wipe down before I start staging. 
Now I always try to incorporate some form of life, whether it be plant, flowers, something like that. And so I chose this plant. And this green color just reminded me of like a calm spa or a beach. So I went with some abstract beach photos in a soft wooden frame. And then I added in some gold accents with this candle and this other candle. It has a gold top. And then this wooden knot just kind of feels like the driftwood type beachy look. And it's soft, it's neutral. Never put any personal photos in there. People are trying to imagine this in their home. But this is just some of the tips that we tell you about in that staging video. But be sure to check us out on Instagram, Moses underscore restoration, and subscribe and follow for more flips and tricks.